I wonder if it realizer it making a realizer. Nearly there. And done. Right, and there is a Bealizer. Grab ourselves a bee. Okay, and... Okay, so... We need to apply a bee and provide honey or honeydew as a pacifier. So... I believe we had some honey left. Put it in here, yeah. There's a honey drop. So if we activate our bee Eliza and we put a Meadows Princess in there and a honey drop in there and it starts telling us things about the bee. Okay, so... Excuse me? All right, um... All right, so a Meadows Princess has a shorter lifespan. It's slow. It pollinates slow. It needs flowers. Sometimes, you know, different tree, different bees need different sort of things, like jungle bees need ferns, for example. Um, fertility, it's likely to find two drones, and that's the area it'll work in. So if we go on to the next tab, okay, it's diurnal, which means it uh, works during the day. Not nocturnal, not a flyer, uh, no idea what that means, and not in a cave means it needs light over the top of it. And it needs a, a normal climate and a humid temperature. Uh, it produces that. It just produces honeycomb. And we don't know anything about the mutations yet. So there we go. We now know about Meadows Princesses. So we can put that back in there. Okay. Um, hold shift. We now know some details about it. Uh, if we look at the the forest princess, we can't hold shift over it. So, right. But actually, I want to learn something about the forest princess as well. So, uh, let's grab another bit of honey. And let's pop that into the centrifuge. Like that, that's going to give us a honey drop and some beeswax. Okay, so that looks like it's going to be the same each time. Let's activate the bealizer again. Stick the forest bee in. Okay, so forest princess. It looks like it's a bit more fertile. It's likely to produce three drones. Yeah, so that's the same. That's the same. Don't know any of that. And not particularly interested in any of that. So we've now learned things about... The forest princess, so we can hold shift over it in the uh, in the chest as well to uh, to learn things about that. And actually, while I'm thinking about it, let's grab a forest princess and a forest drone, and let's make use of that apiary, shall we? No fly means it can't work. Oh, thank you very much, Rawley Simmons. Means it can't work while it's raining. I did look that up earlier on, but totally forgot about it. So let's put this apiary down as well, shall we? And I will put that down there, and we shall pop in Forest Princess, Forest Forest Drone. That's going to power up. Okay, it's not during the day. I think we're probably going to need to put a hole over the top of it again. Got a hole over the top of it. And hopefully it'll be able to share that flower. If not, I might need to move it into the middle. But while we're out here, let's have a look at this one. So. Okay, so it's created us five honeycomb. And still a little bit of life in it. What the heck? Looks like, I'm sorry about this. I'm going to have to go and find where these things are spawning. Uh, that was close. Let's see that, see if it helps me heal up. It seems to be. Right, let's see if we can work out where they're spawning.
This all looks. Oh, 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 I know where they're spawning. I know where they're spawning. Some blocks I can jump. There's some blocks I can jump on. There. That, my friends, that is where they are spawning. There. I got no armor and I'm not paying any attention to mobs at all. That could have been dangerous. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the first time a cheeseburger has done anyone any good. No. Right. Okay. Where are we? Okay, we were we were looking at this here. So that, I think it's still got a little bit of life left in her, but she's nearly dead. But we got five honeycomb out of it, which is not very bad, not very good at all, not very bad at all. I can't run around that way. Let's go around this way. And oh, I got a shovel out of that. No thanks. Uh, actually. Might as well just put it in the bin, hadn't I? Rotten flesh in there as well. Don't need a rain muffler. And let's stack my sticks. Right, okay. <laughs> oh, actually, that reminds me. I have... Rescued my monument of thingness. This thing here. I don't know if you remember we had in the house. Um, let's just put some light up here. There we go. Right, that, there we go. That looks better. Okay, so the monument of thingness. This was, you know, sort of at the end of the episode. I was putting putting up, you know, sort of some stuff that we'd done in the episode. And also my heads after I died. Now I've died some. I think it's four times I've died, but unfortunately two of them were plummeting into the void, so there was no heads for them. So the next time I die, we'll get a head put up there. And there's my bark armor, and that was gold armor I was getting from the mob drop. And in fact, to be totally honest with you, that's probably not a bad idea. Let's go and let's go and get some bone meal. And let's go and see what we can get. There's a stack of bone meal. There's a stack of bones, rather. And that gives us three stacks of bone meal. And let's go and see what plants we get. Engage turbo mode! Whee! I do like those roads. There you go, look, okay, these are Pam's Harvest Craft things, okay? They're actually tree saplings, and I'm getting loads of Pam's Harvest Craft seeds out of this, but not a single flower. Not a flower. Because I think that the, uh, the, the opportunity to spawn flowers is being replaced by Pam's Harvest Craft stuff. is working rather badly for me to be honest with you we're getting all sorts of seeds loads and loads and loads and loads of seeds not a single thing I want I was I thought for a second there that was going to be a flower Grr. not a thing not a thing But, I mean, in all honesty, I do quite desperately need a tomato seed anyway, so it's not necessarily a bad thing. Right, let's drop off some stuff so I can actually carry this stuff, and we'll go and do that in a little bit. Alright, uh, that. 
Peach saplings and dragon. Oh, dragon fruit. I like dragon fruit. Oh, okay. And drop some of this stuff off. Okay, so we'll put the bee stuff together so that can go in there. That can go in there. That can go in there. Don't need that impregnated casing now, but we'll keep it because I'm sure as hell going to need it again somewhere. Uh. Oh, there's a way. Okay, it's giving us a bit of space. Uh, I don't really need to carry that wrench around with me. I'm just inviting myself to lose it. <sighs> right. Go. On. Go and make some grass. That sounded so wrong when I said it. Sweet potato seed. Ah, oh, nothing I've got. I haven't got already. Okay. I did not want to do that, but I'm kind of amused that I've got it. It's a banana tree. <laughs> and that is a banana. Right, because I can't stand eating these things in real life. Can't eat them. Just can't eat them, so... Since it's a morsel, I should be able to eat it. No? Oh, because I'm full. Okay. But what I shall do is I shall beat this grass with my banana, and that sounded wrong as well. Uh, my plans are to create an orchard out here somewhere where all these uh, Pam's Harvest Craft trees are. So that. Uh, a tomato seed. A tomato seed! Ah, yes, a tomato seed! Yes, right. Get rid of some of this stuff. Barley seeds, ooh, yeah, let's make some beer. Store that in there now, because I can guarantee I'm going to be doing this for days to get some more flowers. Put the banana away. Right, let's make some space in here, because I want a tomato plant. And I think I'll have a tomato plant instead of that one there. There we go. All right. There, tomato, and actually... Let's get that grown. Tomatoes! Which means... I can do this quest. And it also means I can do this quest because I can make spaghetti. <laughs> if anyone can do it a bit late, it's you. If anyone can do it, it's you. Right, so while I'm at it, let's make some spaghetti, shall we? Spaghetti, need steak, we could do it tofu. Okay, so we need tomato, we need spice leaf, and we need pasta. And pasta is made with dough and butter, and butter is made with water, salt, and flour, and flour. Do we have any flour? No, I don't think we have any flour. So we'll need that morpher and pestle, and we'll need a bit of wheat. And I don't have any wheat because I've been using it all to put in the squeezer, so let's go and get some wheat. I like that banana tree, that looks good. Grab some wheat there. Oh, too many phantoms. No, oh, no, you say tomato, I say do what? Right, so for now we need some water. You know what? 
I think I'm going to make myself a quick kitchen area here. No, I don't need that for a sec. Put that there, and then that crap. Of course, it looks at the wrong big in chest, doesn't it? How about if I put it there? Stubborn, isn't it? All right. What if I put it there? <laughs> Determined to look at the wrong chest. Okay, well it's there now. Right, so need some water. Uh, there we go. I knew I had some water somewhere. So let's go through this again. Spaghetti, pasta. Pasta is dough, salt. And water. So, do we have any salt? We don't, but wort, salt is easy to make, so let's do that. I think it's a saucepan, it might be a pot. It's a pot. And some salt, some flour, and some water. What are we missing? A, so a mixing bowl. There's my mixing bowl. So that gives us some dough, and we need to make some butter. And how do we make butter? Butter is salt and silken tofu. Okay. We know how to make that. So, a bit more water. Make some salt. And. There's some silken tofu. Salt, silken tofu. Missing something. We need a saucepan. Uh, looks like we are going to use sink every single imp uh, item in the kitchen. It's a good thing that we don't need to. Uh, do the washing up afterwards to be honest with you so pasta a tomato and a spice leaf that's a spice leaf not a spice girl you can indeed as you say use heavy cream but I don't have any so though heavy cream is just milk and salt if I remember right so spice leaf I've got some, I've got some in here there we go spice leaf Okay, alright, and a spice leaf in there. And a saucepan. That's probably a saucepan. Yep, there we go. Our very own spaghetti. Spaghetti. Extra caught heart. Alright, so effectively we've now done every quest in here that we can do, which is great. And that's probably make 10,000 spaghettis. A Spice Girls joke, yes. Bit late to the game. Chronicler of my bad jokes. Yay. And I'm sure the world will be better for it. And while I'm thinking about it. Uh, let's get rid of some of this stuff. A mustard seed. Ooh, very nice. Water from pestle. We'll get rid of that. Uh, might well get rid of those carrots and that. We don't need those at the moment. Um, spaghetti and meatballs. Let's 
So all told, this whole food projection thing is getting uh, oh pretty good. <laughs> Just search for pizza. Okay, why not? T I Z Z A. Pizza and Supreme Pizza. So dough, cheese, tomato. Okay. Okay, right. Um, let's make a pizza, shall we? While we're doing it, let's make a pizza. In fact, let's see what a supreme pizza requires. Bell pepper. Okay, I don't think we can make a supreme pizza, but we can make a pizza. Cheese, tomato, and whatever that is. Okay, right. Right, so how do we make cheese again? To make cheese, we're going to need milk, and we're going to need salt. Let's do that quickly. Let's have a quick look at our bees on the way through. So there we go. Okay, this one has died, so she's left her behind a princess and three drones. We'll use one of those drones and the princess and take the five honeycomb. So that one's given us the next generation. Oh, let's have a quick look at the. Still no discolored leaves. So it's not done any cross pollination yet. And this one. Five members are not finding the right flowers. Okay, let's make us a gap through the middle here. How far apart are they? So that one there. We want to make a hole there. Let's make a hole there. Let's grab our one, our only, our solitary flower. And we'll stick that piece of earth up there. Head back up to the top and stick that flower in. Actually, I might as well just grab one of these. Just to fill that hole in, haven't I? <laughs> uh. Right, will they both live off that flower? We won't know until morning. Okay, we'll see you in the morning. Hopefully that is close enough to both of them. To operate both hives otherwise we're only going to be able to operate one until I find the second flower oh dear I can eat my banana now I feel so much better now I've eaten my banana oh these lines aren't getting any better are they Uh, get rid of that. Okay, do I have a bell pepper? Let's have a. Oh, there's a bell pepper. I can make a supreme pizza. A supreme pizza. Okay, so the first thing I was after was milk. Because we want to make cheese. Mo. Mo. Thanks, ladies. Okay, so. Right, we'll stick each one of these in here like that, because that splits them up. So each bucket becomes four, whatever the hells those are, of fresh milk. And we're going to use those buckets straight away without cleaning them, because that's the kind of guys we are. So bits of water. I suppose they get rinsed out at the same time, so there we go. Uh, no, I'm going to make it with tofu. Um, why can't I? I cannot stand the taste of bananas. I cannot. I, they, they, 
I see. I don't think it's so much the taste as the smell. They they really make my stomach churn. Seriously, make me nauseous. Uh, right. Okay. That's that. So now we need to make some salt. Might as well turn all this into salt. And uh, do that. I need this pan. There we go, that's all that salt. So we'll put the cheese in there, the salt in, the wick in there, the salt in there, the pan in there. And that gives us some cheese. All right, what else do we need for pizza? All right, dough. Oh, I should have, should have saved some salt for the dough. Uh, now it's salt and water. So we're actually gonna have to go and get all that again. Sorry, guys. Let's do that. Uh, okay. Alright, so we we'll split those up. And that last one. Yes, I know there's a cave underneath me. In fact, there's nothing underneath me whatsoever. Alright, so let's just make some salt like that. So, um, water, and we need some flour, which we need that, need one of those, let's make some flour, uh, making the dough, What am I doing wrong? I need a mixing bowl, that's what I'm doing wrong. Uh, Gurney Simmers, um, because I'm concentrating on live streaming, is there any chance you could bring that up in Skype later on or with uh, Shizzy, say, or something like that, So we could, uh, because I'm not really in a position to talk about it right now? Uh, <laughs> it did work out this morning, so I consider it a fair compromise. I understand that logic. I understand it well. But cheese, we like that. Okay, and we need to need some firm tofu, which is that one there. All right, so go back to our recipe. Bakeware. All right, so we should be able to make this now. Tomato. Cheese. What were they missing? Uh, the tofu! Okay, so let's have a bit of tofu in there. There we go. A pizza! And to make a supreme pizza, an onion, a bell pepper, and a spice leaf. So, there's the spice leaf. Get rid of some of this stuff we don't need just yet. Uh, don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Um, fairly certain I had some onions. I might have to go and get some more. Let's have a quick look in here, just have a quick look around before I do. There we go. I knew I had some onions and I picked up some bell peppers earlier. Uh, there we go, onions, bell peppers, and we did chopping board and knife, which I think I've got in here. There it is. Okay, so. Pizza. Cutting board and knife. Bell pepper. Spice leaf. And an onion. Gives us a supreme pizza, which is an awesome feast. <laughs> Some of us, the 70s is considered retro. Yes, shut up, little girl. Shut up, little girl. Don't make me feel old. Well, at least older. Right. To celebrate this, I shall eat a fish sandwich. Right, okay. Um, oh, look, Gurdy Simmers, okay, if you're tired, don't worry about it. We'll pick it up tomorrow after you come back from school, okay? And we'll have a chat about it then. How's that?
One more try. Those spectacles are hard, half worn out already. No flowers. No flowers. No flowers. 